Are we back again already? <laughs> I guess we are. Hello, Ed. Hello again. Welcome again to another edition of the Living Strong Television Network broadcast where I'm your host, a Prophet Johnson. You know what to do right quick. Call that friend, that neighbor, and indeed, let them know. Tune in. Living Strong. Why don't we pick up what we left off on last night? What were we, what were we talking about? Um, pardoned by God. That's right, pardoned by God. I'm still having to wake up a little bit, so y'all excuse me. And uh, pardoned by God is where we are. And uh, where, let's see, where were we? Um, let's go back to Isaiah chapter number 40 and pick up where we left off and start at where we left off somewhere. I think in Psalm somewhere. Um, Isaiah chapter number 40. Again, this is our base verse. And uh, I, I want to look at... Um, First, I want to run a check on something right quick, okay? I want to run a check on Isaiah 38 and uh, verse number 17 because of what's been happening in the nation and everything else. And I don't know what has happened between now and then or what will happen by the time, you know, you receive all this good news. But some, something is going to happen between now and then, I think, or uh, will be happening. We'll talk about it as it comes in the future. Isaiah, but for now, we're just going to enjoy the message tonight, pardoned by God, okay? Isaiah chapter number 38 and verse number 17. For, it says, behold, for peace I had great bitterness. For peace I had great bitterness. Was it, does that sound like anybody right now or does that sound like the people that we know? But I want you to back up to verse number 16. O oh Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is life of my spirit. So wilt thou recover me and make me to live. Will you bring me back? Will you restore my soul? But I'm, I'm going backward with this. I'm going backward. I'm going to show you how to read. Lord, I'm, I'm, giving, I'm sharing a secret with you. Look at verse number 15. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me and himself hath done it. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. Who would want to live like that? Who would even want to think like that? This is uh, Hezekiah, the writing of Hezekiah, the king of Judah, when he had been sick and was recovered from his sickness. And you will see that. That verse number 10 says, I said in the cutting off of my days, I shall go to the gates of the grave. I am deprived of the residue of my years. In other words, you, my life, this is it. Except you have mercy. I said, I shall not see the Lord, even the Lord in the land of the living. I shall behold Man no more with the inhabitants of the world. So he's accepting his death. He's accepting his defeat. But we know the story. God comes back in and restore. What, 15 years? Verse number 12. Mine age is departed and is removed from me as a shepherd. I have cut off like a weaver my life. He will cut me off with pining sickness from days even to night, wilt thou make an end of me. Now what did God do? Look at verse number 20. The Lord was ready to save me. After all that, pardoned by God. No matter what you're going through, you might be on death's door, but God is ready to save. Now, I got a bone to pick, and I don't know how to pick this bone, but I'm going to try. 
Wasn't this about a 90% cure that Pfizer came up with uh, for the COVID-19? If they have a cure that's 90% effective, well, shouldn't they be now running, passing that stuff out to doctors and taking people shots at, that's in the hospital with COVID-19 and on respirators and stuff and dying every day? That's not how it works. I, I, I don't care how it works. I'm not running for office. I'm thinking about it, though. But what? Oh, yeah, I win, too. But why can't they take the cure? 90%, why can't they go and take people shots that got it and die in the hospital? I don't understand this, do y'all? It, will it stop it? Will it heal it? Is it a pre-test cure? Do you got to take it before you get it? What? 90%? Can they not just go to the doctor and, and give them people a shot? I, I don't understand this, y'all. No, I don't. I'm a human being. Okay? Uh. Verse number where, wherever. Verse number, uh, the, the Lord was ready to save. For the grave cannot praise thee. Verse number 18. For the grave, uh, Isaiah chapter number 38, for the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee, they that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. In other words, it, it's over with now. You're under judgment. So the living, we, the living, the living, he shall praise thee. But what doesn't happen? What did happen? What did you see? <laughs> you saw celebration in the street. You saw people dancing in the city. Why? Because God had part in America. Now think. You got a lot of those people out there doing two things. Number one. They are praising and celebrating man, America. Number two, they are praising and celebrating God. Now, that should be in reverse, shouldn't it? They should be thanking God first. And many of them are. Many of them are. But at the same time, they're praising each other and celebrating each other for doing what they know they could do. This is real, folks. This is real. <clears throat> when you think of partnering, you know, the leadership probably partner a lot of people before he's out. You, I often think of judges and lawyers, and I, didn't want to, I, I really didn't want to talk about this because I hit it a little bit the other night. And you think about a judge partnering somebody. But... This is a wishful thought. You think about the agencies that hunted these people to put them in front of the judges to be destroyed. You think about racism of hatred between black people and white people and how they will not forgive each other, many of them, and not pardon each other. A nation filled with every unclean bird filled with hatred and racism and we're pardoned by God. Psalms 103 who forgiveth all thine iniquities who healeth all thy diseases. God right now I'm thinking 
um, that enough is enough. You know, we've just had enough. Have you ever just been tired, exhausted? I don't know about you, but I know that feeling. It's not a good feeling at all. To be tired, exhausted, and just done with it. Just, that's just it. Well, God knows that he will not put up on us no more than we could bear. Okay? So he knew how much America could take. All right, I'm being, did y'all notice that I'm being nice tonight? So far? <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Now, here we go. Let's go ahead and pick it up now. <coughs> here we go, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, now verse number 40. We're going to get back to this and go back and try to see if we can finish up wherever we got lost that other night. Verse number, chapter number 40. Chapter number 40, verse number 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, uh, my people, saith, saith the Lord. Speak comfortably to Jerusalem, to America. Comfort the people. Enough is enough. And cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she have received of the Lord's hand double for her sins. Now, when you see that God allows double for the sin and that pardoning comes in, that's showing you once again the strength of God's power. That's showing you the nature of his love. If we could love like that, Forgive like that. Pardon like that. Then don't you think that it would be a whole lot easier for us to move on through this life? I think so. Uh, let's go back to where I got happy at on the other night, and hopefully I won't get too happy tonight. <clears throat> ah. Psalm 16. So will y'all say a prayer for me, okay, that I stay cool? Psalm 16, we're going to read it again, but this time I'm just going to read down through fast. Preserve me, O God, verse number one, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, thou art my God, or thou art my Lord, my goodness extended it not to thee. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Everybody know that by heart. Y'all, I think that y'all do. Okay, what, I don't forget where it is myself. Psalms somewhere up in there. Here it is. I, I'm not focusing. Their sorrows shall be multiplied. No, no, no. Verse number three. But to the saints that are, in, that are in the earth, 190 plus countries and counting, Africa, Israel, China, China, I don't mean to chase no rabbit, but I've got to. I've got to chase this rabbit. I love this dude. That's my buddy there. Here we go. China. Y'all hurt America. Y'all hurt America bad. I just want you to know that. This nation is hurt. Russia, y'all did too. We're hurt. Christians in Europe, Africa, Israel, China, that love God, Will y'all pray that we as a people can come together and forgive what has happened to us in this nation? We, you don't see it. You don't see it. 
But you've got to just be here to see it. I know that y'all in Africa used to talk about the manicured lawns and how we waste yard and we'll not even plant people sitting on five and ten acres of land with nothing but grass and dirt and won't even use it for nothing, won't raise a chicken, won't plant no corn because we fat. We got plenty to eat. We's be spoiled. We are blessed and better than blessed. But there are many people that are struggling and suffering here to pay bills, to eat, and just to have a house to sleep in. Y'all don't see it. The hurricanes that judge that Gulf area the judgment of the fires, the judgment of earthquakes and hurricanes and tornadoes and floods, even the fish that's coming out of the ocean tastes like mush. The fish don't even have taste to it. I couldn't even eat them. I had to throw them away. Fresh caught fish out of the ocean. Had to get rid of them. Chasing this rabbit in closing. 190 plus countries in counting. Will y'all pray for us? See, no, no, I'm not talking about them preachers on TV that's sending missionaries to your land showing you that schools and buildings and folks traveling over mountains on goats and donkeys just to get money from the American people. No, that's a scam. I'm not talking about feed the children because we've been feeding the children that ain't never got fed. We've been digging wells forever. That's still not enough wells in Africa. I'm not talking about the hypocrisy of the, the hypocritical nation that we are. Pray that this nation, once again, it has never been restored, but pray that it will come to its true creed and true origins in life, and that we will love and not hate, that we will forgive each other, and pray that we will be a real nation of God. You see, there was one time the gospel was real popular. Back in the 90s, the 80s, the 90s, 2000, early 2000s, the gospel was smoking. They had big wigs on TV with makeup everywhere, talking about they had arrived. Everybody playing the dark game. Everybody wanting to be somebody in Jesus. Now we are dispersed, decrepit, broken church of Israel. Y'all pray for America because America is sick. China, you got us. Y'all got us this time. That's chasing the rabbit. Here it goes. Where am I at? Oh, verse number three, Psalm 16. But to the saints that are in the earth, into the excellency in whom is all my delight, their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after other gods. I'm not stopping there. I'm being nice. I'm moving on. Get rid of your totem pole. Their drink offering of blood, Jim Jones jungle juice, psychological effect, psychedelic mind altering words, repetitively, the same thing. Drink this juice and die. But we go to church. We call it Jesus lying jungle juice because that's what they call it, right? Lying to Jesus while they're in church drinking Jim Jones, Christians. Uh, drink blood of offering, uh, uh, drink offerings of blood will I not offer, 
nor take up their names into my lips. <laughs> this, is why, this is why I cracked up. <laughs> not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. No. <clears throat> the Lord is the portion of mine inheritance. I can't hold it. And of my cup thou maintainest my lot. Uh -huh. Breaking up, y'all. <laughs> the lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Ah, uh, my God, been good to me. Mm -hmm. Let me see the power lines uh, one more time. And strengthen me with the Philistines uh -huh. one more time that I may die in peace. Samson, they don't understand what I'm going through. I will bless the Lord who have given me counsel. I tried everybody else's counsel. It was nothing but a lie. Only for themselves. But when God began to counsel one more time, the heavens come open. And there they are again. I've got to get past those power lines. Go, son. Now the world is open. This is a whole new world. Jesus, I am here. Yes, you are, son. Enjoy your flight. Enjoy your adventure. For I have opened the heavens to you once again. Now, you can ride upon the wings of the chariots of the wings of the winds of the chariot of the wings of fire. Go, prophet. Fly with the wind, my son. See the universe. Adventure to the stars and speak to the moon again. They will never know what you know. It's true. Many people, I used to tell them all the time, people that took me for granted, people that I loved and cared about. I will sit them down and tell them about this world that Jesus takes me to. I will tell them about the great feelings, about the reality of a human being being alive Existing with the power of the angels. They would look at me like all others and perhaps like you're doing. And they would say like, uh-huh, okay, all right, just give me your money. I wish that you could experience this. 
I wished that there was one person veering living strong that would look us up, tweet me out, blast me out, text me out, holler me out, and just say, Prophet Johnson, I'm the one. I know what you're talking about. I would like to talk to you so that we can share secrets that no human being on earth knows, not even the government. Isn't that amazing? I wish I could talk to you. I really do. But those of you that are saying, this guy's nuts. No. Almond Joy got nuts. Mounds don't. Here it is. Uh... Captain, earth calling prophet, <laughs> where am I at? Verse number seven. I will bless the Lord who have given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night season. Ah, I'm not supposed to go there. That's what I tried to tell y'all. I tried to tell y'all this. If I could teach you this, God. Can I share with them one secret? Just one. Just let me try one. This, they, 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 this not going to work. They can't do that. That's too hard for them. I barely can do it. <sighs> let me say this. When you close your eyes at night, your eyes are not closed. That's when they're open. When you open your eyes in the daytime and you look out and see the world, your eyes are not open. That's when they are closed. When you go to bed at night, space and time is in front of you. What you see as darkness or your eyelids is not darkness or your eyelids. That's a world. Once you learn how to see through that world, and penetrate that world, then you will come to my world. Secret. I'll put it in the book, show you how to do it. Captain, keep me tight on the clock. I'm closing. I have set the Lord always before me, verse number eight, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. I shall, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad. Can't y'all see how glad I am? In my glory rejoiceth. Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also, also shall rest in hope. See, I don't have time to explain that. Look at what he says. My glory rejoiceth. My glory rejoiceth. Let every man prove his own work. Then, she'll have, then she ha, shall he have glory in himself and in, in, him, and in himself alone. I can't speak, y'all. I, I, I'm stuttering. I cannot speak. My speech is terrible. Forgive me. In closing, for thou will not leave my soul in hell. She all, they call the Jehovah Witnesses, they, they call it just a grave. Neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Talking about Jesus. I'm not going to stay in Sheol. I'm not going to stay in the grave. Okay? Thou wilt show, show me the path of life. Thou wilt show me the path of life. Show me the path of life. People, don't just read the Bible. Learn. Oh, God, help me. I got to close. Life, there's a path in life. There's a place in which no foul know it. There's a path in which no foul can travel, can, can find. Job chapter 28, I believe it is. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And closing, Captain, we, get, we there? Good, thank God. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, this is it. 
At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Did you hear that? Full of joy, pleasures forevermore. Oh, God. We're going to pray tonight. We are going to pray. Let us close. Uh, repeat after me. Say, Father, forgive me for my sins. And I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. It's done. Be a blessing. I, be a blessing. P.O. Box 363, Richland, South Carolina, 29936. Log well, on to help us out through PayPal. Now, Captain already told me, I got, I'm over my time. But Captain told me, coming in, said, Prophet, we got to get the church fixed. We've got to get it done. We've got to do the work. We've got to get it done. Folk, they got folks coming in having to work. Captain done did something. I don't have time for that. Okay? But somebody needs to show a big seed. All right? 50,000. That's not much for you. 10,000. Well, I'll think about it. 500? Well, praise the Lord. How about a $2 offering? I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. <laughs> This is pardoned by God. <laughs> Be blessed by. <laughs>